Okay guys, really serious note. My last video has been getting so much controversy, a lot of people hating on it. On behalf of Shinlin Magic, as president of, of my website and of that country, I would like to make a sincere apology. This just in from TMZ. Shin Lim making an apology. What do you have to say about this, Shin? Uh, I, I would just like to apologize sincerely for saying Jabrizis' name in vain. Please forgive me, Jabrizis. Uh, you just broke one of those Ten Commandments. What do you have to say about that, Shin? I just want to say that I'm very sorry and that that, that will never happen again. Guys, I know what the real problem is. It's, ready, ready for it, ready for it? It's t -t -t tutorials. Everyone just hating on me saying, Shin, 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 why don't you make tutorials? Shin, Shin Lin, why don't you make tutorials? Why, why can't, why can't you reveal tricks, Shin? Guys, don't you know, don't you know this obvious fact about tutorial making of magic? Everybody knows this. You have to be Warlock 60 in order to do it. I'm not there yet, so I can't reveal tricks to the whole world, to the lay public. I'm not at that level where I can just reveal something that's been kept secret and just release it to the whole public. But what I can do is teach performance tips and how to make it practical for the real world and how to apply what you already know into your daily routines. I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry if I can't fit your needs, fans. Look, if you want me to teach Dream Act, I gotta get to Warlock level 60. This is the best I could do. This is my thoughts on the top change. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm making a video. What are you doing? You're She's distracting me. <laughs> hey, buddy. I have over here uh, Michael Barron. He is the fill in magician for House Magic. Yeah, I do hit Ashen's whole show. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does my dream act. Bought it for 200 bucks. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> no, I do my own. Do yeah, my own. He, he does his own stuff. Yeah. Uh, you can follow his Instagram. It's at Barron Magic. Let's talk about the top change. Yeah, it's, I mean, one of the most important moves in magic. Top change is more in, impromptu in sort of the way that, like, the double lift, you have to kind of do a get ready for. Yeah. Um, you have to have the card second from the top. Um, yeah. Whereas in the top change, you just you just do it, yeah. right? Yeah, I, I definitely use the top change way more than a double lift. Um, I used to use a double lift, and then I got caught one time because the guy was like, oh, I've seen this thing on the internet where you lift two uh, cards up. Yeah. yeah, and then so I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to start using the top change. And ever since then, I just, I've never really been caught. Double lift can you know, can stand some heat, but mm -hmm. it has to be perfect. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Top change doesn't have to be perfect. Top change yeah. can be, be crappy, but as long yeah. as your audience management is good. You yeah, I mean, well, so like, when you're, when you're doing the top change, uh, the one thing for, that's important, I usually like to have an object or, or some sort of point of focus. So like, let's say we, we're having the, the Ten of Diamonds over here, and we want to change it for the Nine of, or let's do a different yeah. different set. So let's say it's a, oh, this deck is new, so <laughs> one second. <laughs> getting, getting some contract. Let's say I have the Eight of Clubs, and I'm trying to switch it for the Two of Clubs. Usually I like to point to the object, pick it up, and then maybe place the two of clubs down, snap my hands, and then changes, right? Generally, most schools of thought, say you want the card that's going to be switched to be mm -hmm. stationary, right? That's and right. Because yeah. the hand that's movement will draw the... the bigger, bigger, action bigger action covering Bigger action covering the smaller motion. Yeah. Right? This big action will cover the small yeah, motion right. of the switch. So like, let's, say, let's say you had a card in your hand, like let's say you had this card in your hand, I'd be like, okay, what was that card again? Can you remind me? And then you, and then you would look at it. Right. And then it's, oh, it's not their card. What was your card again? And like, yeah. and pe most people won't burn your hands if you ask them a question, yeah. but like bizarre yeah. uh, human behavior. Hey. Okay. <laughs> okay, she is. <laughs> so, so you have the two aces over here, two black aces. So uh, can you have your hand out like this? I have the ace of spades over here. Uh, now, without looking, what is that card? Ace of spades, because uh, yeah. the clubs is over here, right? So if I take the clubs and I switch it now with the ace of spades, uh, if I have the ace of spades over there, that means that card over is the ace of clubs, right? Right. And then, boom, and we do the switch, and then now they're two queens. We're talking about offbeats, right? Yeah. So any motion, if a card moves from point A to point B, there's two endpoints. There's point A where it starts and point B where it ends, and the move should happen somewhere in the middle. 
So that, like it shouldn't be a one, two, three, it should be happen in between. So if the card is here, I gesture, and it happens on the way to point B. So mm -hmm. it's not one, two, three. Yeah, it's, it's one, one two, two. two. Yeah. Do you remember what your card was? Like and it, it happens. Yeah, and that was and that was so quiet too. Like, and that, that that's Good. that's also another another really important thing. I think sometimes you know when you hear that little, uh, yeah, a little. Yeah. Um, a light touch, I think, is important. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I feel like I make that mistake too, but the right proper gestures, it kind of covers that, that, that movement. Oh, yeah. thank you, I really appreciate it. Yeah, really nice, really quiet uh, top change there, really nice. <laughs> you always just go, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of the younger guys, they're doing it uh, incorrectly, and this is what it looks like. I'm not going to teach you, but this is what it looks like. And uh, it's, 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 it changes positions in your hands yeah, with the clip. Yeah, changes <laughs> yeah. And uh, for me, you know, that's not the right way. Just don't do that. If you saw that uh, just now, uh, you'll, you'll kind of understand what's it happening. It might be easier at first when you're trying to learn the kind move of, to kind yeah, of like, yeah. kind of when you're doing um, Crazy Man's handcuffs, right. switch fingers, that's it's like right. it's a crutch if you're learning the top change. And this is good for kind of getting, the timing is the most important thing, not the, not the move, right? So you can back jog this top card. Right. Obviously, don't. This is the exposed angle. But yeah. if you're if the hand is tilted back, you can back jog that back card. And now, when the move happens, you have this card to grab onto here. So you just square right. this one, and this comes away. That makes it really easy. And I don't, it's not going to hurt your technique later on That's because right. the, the timing and the move is the same. Yeah. And there's no extra fingers involved. I do the top change. I think in my the new act, I do it four times in my act. <laughs> and, uh, it's pretty it's pretty ridiculous. But each time each time I try to have a different different variation. And I'd have messed up a couple times. Just do it again and regesture. And and it, you know they're not really gonna. Really notice that no, we, we top to, changed my jacket. Yeah, that's right. It's it's super smooth. Barely, barely noticed that. Like how I'm, I'm going to bows with my Birkenstocks though. Yeah. <laughs> my slippers and my shirt. Here's the card. Split the pack, mm -hmm. and, and it goes. And yeah. Control the and it's also really good. I realized when you do a double lift, you need to do an extra step. The so top change, you can switch it right over. It can kind of save you an extra beat. Because when you're doing a double lift, you have to kind of get ready. So for the top change, like in my act, for example, um, I need to Mercury card fold the sign jack, for example. So card, this is your card, right? Okay, can you place it over there? Okay, cool. And then immediately, I can now do the top, the Mercury card fold. And uh, saves you a little time. Saves you more time because getting to the point, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if I had to do the double lift in order to do the switch, I would have to do this, and then here, and here, and here. Now it looks like you're here. getting ready to do something. Yeah, right? exactly. You've, uh, you've, so whereas I say, oh, this is your sign king. Okay, let's put it over there. It's a and non moment. Then, boom. Yeah. But doing a double lift, you're all of a sudden you're yeah. <laughs> you're like, you're like watch, check, right? see, see this thing Something, over here. Something's gonna happen, right? Mm -hmm. So. No. Uh, no, that's right. Yeah. And simply moving something out of the way can be enough motivation to do this, mm -hmm. like you did there. Williamson just, just does it right in front of you. Yeah, yeah he, does it, he does it really well. He he's does a, the exposed he's... side. <laughs> yeah. He just doesn't care because it happens on a joke. Yeah. He'll say uh, in his in his Tournament Restored Transpo, yeah. he'll, uh, he'll reveal a card and he'll say, what was your card, the Three of Diamonds? And he yeah. goes, oh, and it's changed magically to the Ten of Hearts. Oh, that's right. And great. it just happens right <laughs> on the joke. Yeah. And it happens in full view and yeah. no one catches it. He's, um, he's Jesus but with he, he just realizes change. the joke is is plenty of cover. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need to yeah. worry about disguising the move. Yeah. I, I need to use the arm cover. <laughs> I, have, I have to use the arm cover. Not everybody I'm not, can be difficult. Yeah, I'm not, you know, we're, not, we're not all him. Um, and then, but but you mentioned another cool one to me actually, having tilting the box over so you just knock it over. Or because the mo the movement is here now, so boom. And everyone's just looking at that card. Yep. You know. And just the motion of the hand coming back to relax is when yeah. the move happens. Yeah. So here, and it comes back to relax, and yeah. then uh, you've done your second switch. Dope. I don't know. There's something in there we can Hopefully use. Hopefully, there's something. I don't that, know. Uh, we'll you guys see. Can use. Yeah. No. Thanks, really. Awesome, man. Sure. Thanks so much. See you later. Bye. Cool. Hopefully I don't sound like a fucking idiot. <laughs> All right guys, hope you like my work on the top change. Now, here's the game we like to play here in Macau. Like it and sub it. This is a traditional game that's been playing for 5,000 years here in Macau, ever since the dawn of YouTube 3,000 years ago. Uh, you know, and if you guys don't do it, then you are disrespecting the Macau culture and you're being a racist. Let me know if you like it. Check it out.